Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 3, Episode 17 of Attack on Titan, Hero. We just came hot off the heels of Erwin leading a courageous yet nearly guaranteed death charge. Mm -hmm. They're so screwed. I, I'm so worried about them. This is so bad. God, they're losing so many people. I don't even really know what to say. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and hit the bell if you want to stay up to date with our releases of uh, Attack on Titan Season 3. We release every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be on the lookout for that. And if you can't wait for the next episode, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where you can see the rest of Season 3 posted now. All right, it's time. Are we excited for Season 3, Episode 17 of Attack on Titan, Hero? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. And as we ride to certain death, we trust our successors to do the same for us. Because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world. My soldiers push forward. My soldiers scream out. My soldiers rage! Erwin's white horse. So Erwin's oh, been hit. Oh no, and the horse. Yep. Oh, they're both down. Oh no. There he goes. Hey, don't look back! Keep charging! They keep going. Season 3, Episode 17, Hero. How sad to be deprived of the chance to learn from the past. King Rai stole their memories of the outside world, and this is the tragic result. They're doomed to repeat the same foolish mistakes. And in the end, all of them will go to their deaths, young and old pouring out of the walls in a suicide charge. Because if they're going to die, they may as well do so proudly. Why bullshit? <sighs> I crushed it into dust? <laughs> What's gotten into me? Why am I getting so worked up? They're not like your father, remember? You need to find joy where you can. So now, I'll turn them all into proud little chunks of meat. The second volley's coming! Fire! And Marlo's leading him. Wow. Really stepping up. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Is this how I die? I wonder what Hitch is doing. Knowing her, she's probably still sleeping. <laughs> Sounds nice. But why am I thinking about her at a time like this? <laughs> so Marlo's dead. That's so tragic. I thought I'd change up the pitch a little. I call that a shutout. Call it a shutout. Asshole. Another baseball term. Mm -hmm. But they're still coming. Yeah. Foolish. You really think those little toy guns are going to help? They all that is good. What good could that possibly do? What do you think, like... What could motivate someone to do this? How sad. Poor, pathetic things. Hmm? What's this? My titans have fallen? <gasps> A single soldier might pose a threat to me? Yes, Captain Levi's dangerous. <sighs> Is this Levi? Took off his hand? My name! 
No eyes. What's that? Oh my god. I can't see. Did he take out my eyes? Ankles gone. What's wrong? Not enjoying yourself so much anymore? Oh my god. Give him exactly what he deserves. I won't make it in time. Come on, let's have some fun. Again. How about Levi? Oh my god. <sighs> he got him. <sighs> he did it. Oh my god. How That's badass was that? <sighs> if your body's severely damaged, it's too busy healing to let you resume your titan form. Isn't that right? <sighs> hey, I asked you a question. It's only polite to answer. I can't kill him yet. There must be someone out there who's still alive. It doesn't matter if they're on the brink of death. I can inject them and make them a titan. Then we just have them eat this guy. And the beast oh. titan's power is ours. They'd have the beast titan. If there's one person okay. still breathing, I can save them. <gasps> No shit. The quadruped. Hey, where are you going? Stop. Go now. Rip him to pieces. It hurts. They were right about you, Levi. You are dangerous. But you must have used all your weapons up by now. You'll die like the rest of them. It may have been a hard won fight, but victory is ours! Hold on. I made a promise to Commander Erfin that I would kill you no matter what it took. I promised! Oh my god. Levi. What do you think of that? Levi is the most incredible fighter. Jesus, wow. Nobody has been able to land a hit on him, yeah. and Levi took mm -hmm. him fully down. The way. plan worked, kind of. I mean, that hesitation. It was a brilliant idea to find someone, save them, and have them, you know, eat him so they could get those powers on his side. But now he's gone, and he's going to be able to regenerate. And he's with the, like crawling duck titan. <laughs> he had briefly the element of surprise and the element of being underestimated. Yep. And like the beast titan was just, you know, overconfident. He's not going to make that mistake again. So like okay. this is great, but the colossal titan and the armored titan are still just as big of a problem. Yeah, but at least they did this. Yeah. I mean, still just going. Yeah. Well, he made a promise to Erwin. Yeah. How is that possible? The others... Hey! Is anyone else out there? The lone, the survivor. lone survivor. That bastard. What'll it take to put him down for good? Why won't he just stay dead? What the hell do we do against something like that? Now there's two, and it's five of them. Hey, Armin. I think getting Aaron out of here safely might be the best we can hope for. He's thinner. The colossal oh. tank. He's gotten a little thinner. The more steam he uses, Guys, the more he kind of exactly dissipates. Guys, it's exactly like Kanji said. Our best bet against the colossal is a battle of attrition. You remember her experiments with Aaron? He could only transform up to three times. If that's the case for a 15 meter titan, a 60 meter might be even less efficient. And then there's his steam. I think he must be burning through flesh and muscle tissue to produce it. Everything that makes sense, and that explains why. So, what are you saying? I have a plan. The rest of you need to draw Rhino away. Aaron and I will defeat the Colossal Titan ourselves. The two of us can do it. Oh Trust boy. me on this. Okay. All right then. Armin leave and Rhino Aaron. To us and get going. Sure, it took you long enough. 
you had me thinking we were all gonna die here. But his confidence and his intelligence, he's yeah. back. All right, let's see what he can do. What do you think he's planning? Couldn't tell you why, Just but when I think about like the distract that we all him, lost, I guess, like make him I trigger the steam at like a safe distance. <laughs> This plan goes the way I'm hoping it will. Well, I won't get to visit the sea. Wait. I couldn't tell you why, but when I think of the outside world, so he's I planning on sacrificing himself. What the? Aaron, wake up! The sea is waiting for us. All right, so uh, Cheyenne decided to join us for this momentous episode. Hey, Queen. Hey. All right, ready? Yeah. Sad Armin said he was never going to see the sea. Yeah. So, what do you think he means okay. by that? That's that he's going to sacrifice Earth. himself. Yeah. So now we just have to execute it. If we can succeed in tricking Bertolt, then... We'll win. The day will be ours. <laughs> Understand? We're leaving Bertolt to them. We have to trust they can handle him. As for us, we need to keep Rhina at a safe distance. Okay. Fly just close enough to him to get his attention. Got it! And Reiner's back. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he what? ignored us? Damn it. It looks like he's focused on Aaron. Oh no. Then we'll just have to kill him! Make us up! She has one of those Thunder Spears left. Yep. Okay, well. That is a good spot to that, hit him. Yeah, for real. That because, was what worked for her last time. Mm hmm. And the Thunder Spear to the soft spot wasn't really doing anything, so. Or not the soft spot, you know what I mean? Hey! Yep. If we can't get Rhina's attention. We'll have to finish him off right here. Our job is to protect Aaron and Armin. Yeah, I know that. We've only got three Thunder Spears. That's all. But we've got to try anyway, because there's no way we're going to win if we don't fight. They're going to go for it. Four Something against an armored titan. What? Single attack took out my knee. I can't remember much after that moment. I'm gonna blow this whole area away. Because he was a skull face. Mm -hmm. Lie down with your Titan body facing upwards. Bertolt. I'm confused. What the hell happened to me? I don't know what's going on. I don't have much strength left. But I do know Aaron's over there. As long as we capture him, that means we got what we came for. Wait, are they able to communicate? Right, Bertolt? <laughs> no. I'll deal with these idiots as quickly as I can and then head over to back you up. The four of them who went that way must be after Rhino. So, the only ones who survived the blast were the members of the 104th who were with Aaron. <sighs> Honestly, I was hoping they would have all died in the blast. But, I'm used to having to fight for what I want, Armin. What's the point of waking Aaron when he's all battered like that? These are your final moments. I'm interested to see how you'll spend them. The real question is, how long can I hold out? It's on me. If I give up too soon, the plan will fail no matter how good it is. <sighs> hold on. Armin, are you... Sorry. But I can't die till I get a chance to look at the sea. So I'll have to let go before things get really bad, okay? The rest will be up to you. No big surprise. I mean, I've never exactly been a hero, so... No, you're wrong. You just can't see what I do. Don't worry. It'll be okay. In all the years we've known each other, have I ever lied to you? And I promised that we'd go to the sea together. <sighs> so no matter what happens, stick to my plan till the end. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Shit. no. That wasn't part of the plan. That's not good. No. Oh, crap. Aaron! I knew it. This battle's already been won. He probably has a severe concussion. I doubt he can even stand up on his own. Enough of this. Let's end it. Armin's got a plan. Okay. Armin, you fought well to the very end. But it's over now. Armin. Mika said this. No. They have their own job. Oh. We need to focus on Reina. If we're going to take him out with just three Thunder Spears, this is the only way. We'll initiate the attack while he still can't move. It might not work, but win or lose, this ends now. Bring it on. Really coming down to oh it. My God. Are you nervous? Yeah. First, I act as bait. <laughs> Connie and Sasha will follow with two of the remaining Thunder Spears and aim for Rhino's jaw from both sides. Oh no. Got one side of the jaw, okay. but Sasha got hit. Yeah. Sasha! Sean! One of them missed. If we blow off his jaw, that should leave Rhino's mouth wide open! Mikasa should be able to aim the last Thunder Only Spear at Snake from inside the mouth! It's not open. Doesn't matter. I have to try anyway! Oh no. I don't understand. How is he not dead? How is he still holding on? His anchor should have come loose. He shouldn't even be able to get this close. I knew it! His bones aren't being consumed! The anchor stay put if they're not in muscle! The Are you kidding me? He's stationary! He can't move his body while he's emitting steam! Really, Armin? <sighs> this is how you want it to end? Smart as you are, this is the best plan you no can come up with. No way. Flailing in midair, being scorched to death. He's literally... I can't breathe. It's fire. I have to let go! No, not yet! It's not enough! I have to keep fighting! Five more time! What's the point of this? A diversion? But Aaron still collapsed there on the ground. Mikasa and the others have their hands full with Rhina. Just a last desperate act. All right. If this but really he's is using up all of you, his steam or I'll power or whatever. Make it quick. Even hotter. Hold on! Don't let go! It trust the altar and my dreams! My life! Everything! The only thing I have to give is this! He'll make it! Someday, Aaron will reach the sea! He'll reach the sea! For both of us! Armin sacrifice. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't think you do. It's so risky, no, it's perfect. You said it. Are you kidding me? Now's your chance! Get out! How do you survive? How? Rhina. It's over! Hanji lived. Oh my god. It's over. So Armin? It's coming no, out. it's just Aaron and the horses. <laughs> what the? A hardened titan? <laughs> 
Giving him the chance to harden. To make a replica they got him. in his place. Oh my god. They got him. And he couldn't see it because of all the steam. Nope. Genius plan. That. And he sealed Holy the gate. Holy shit. They did it. To make me lower my guard. So Aaron could sneak up behind me and attack. What do we think? Armin sacrificed himself, giving him time and taking away. I still can't believe Armin's dead. Yep. Like that. His sacrifice. He was always the, the brain and the planner, but in the end, he was the hero. What do you think? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure he's not dead like Hanji was dead? Well... I mean... Fuck! But, Armin, what do you think of his plan? I mean, it was brilliant. Fuck. God, I'm too much of a baby for this show. No, everybody, everybody cried here. <sighs> uh, I cried again just now. It was... <sighs> Armin just... <sighs> he gave it everything he had, and he held on. Yeah. And that's the worst thing imaginable, just burning to death. Just and he God. he still didn't let go. He never let go. The, the no. metal just melted away. That's how hot it was. And he lied to Aaron by being like, I'll go with you to the sea. He was just... Any last words on that whole thing? <laughs> I'm just so sad. We'll be back after I need a, a second. few seconds. Okay, feeling a little better? Yeah, I'm back. Still sad. But, but how yeah. about Hanji coming back? How did Hanji survive that? Like, there... I, I mean, they... I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I mean, losing I Hanji was like, we can't lose Hanji. Yeah. Good. Drag him. And Aaron thought he. In all the years we've known each other, have I ever lied to you? should have known how far he'd go. <laughs> hey. Stop it. Why don't you put up a fight? <gasps> they pick on you because you won't hit back. You fine with losing forever? You're wrong. I'm not losing. Huh? <sighs> because I don't run. So, what's you can't your show name? me baby Armin right after he dies. Armin, you are a hero. You're the bravest of us all. And that is where we are left for that episode. Oh my God. Heartbreaking episode. Yeah. Oh, first thoughts? I'm so sad. Yep. I feel like I'm not going to be able to talk about it without crying more. But oh, what an incredible episode. All right. This, okay, this, this is the most frustrating. I know, Cheyenne. Watch. Look if I... Captain, I finally found you. So Irwin's- Oh my god, Irwin's not dead. And neither is Armin. 
I don't understand how this show continues to have things come out of nowhere with an insane amount of groundwork laid. Yep. You know, like... It only like, all of, clicks at the end. Like, of course everything was leading up to this. How I, I, I don't know how I didn't see it, but I had no idea that that was coming. And it's every at every turn, it's been Armin being like, "Am I a coward?" Like, yeah. like when Aaron pulled him out of the Titan's mouth, he literally just wouldn't move because he was so scared. Yeah. But he didn't run, and he never was gonna beat somebody in a physical fight. Mm -hmm. But this was the one fight that he could only he could do because he never runs. He just yeah. that was poetic. I was gonna say, yeah. We have a lot to discuss. But before we do that, where are we headed? Let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're excited for our next episode, that's uh, Midnight Sun, and that's going to be coming this Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see that episode now, check out the Patreon link in the description below where that episode and more beyond it are already posted. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our Patreon members. Join any level to start asking. For now, let's get to question one. Ashton asks, did you see Armin's sacrifice coming or not right until that moment? How do you see this affecting his friends? especially Aaron and Mikasa. I did not see it coming whatsoever. I think it was so not in line with everything we've seen from him so far, which is like what made it such an incredible reveal. But yeah, that was absolutely shocking. I think it's gonna really deeply affect Aaron and Mikasa. I mean, they've been a trio from the time they were kids. I think it's gonna affect Aaron more because he was like part of the plan that got him killed. Yeah. And it was was his trust in Armin that ultimately made it so that he could sacrifice himself. So I can definitely see Aaron like turning that on himself and taking on responsibility for Armin dying, which is obviously not logical, but people aren't logical about loss like that. Yep. All right. Let's go to question two. Krista Hahn asks, thoughts on the epicness of the battle between Levi and the Beast Titan? That was just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, like we all knew Levi was just an incredibly talented fighter, but I feel like his skills have never been put on display like that. Like the the spinning around the arm. Full, like, full fidget spinner mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just like it was precise and fast and exactly what he needed to do. And he almost killed him. I'll tack on to that. What do you think of him not killing the Beast Titan and hesitating because he thought he could turn somebody into it and how that'll impact him knowing that Erwin was like, you have to kill him? I think that hesitation on whether or not to kill him or keep him alive so that someone on the scout side could become an intelligent Titan, I think that's going to eat away at him because it was obviously the wrong call. He's still pursuing I mean, the quadruped titan. Yes, but we have very little experience. I feel like nothing is known about the crawling titan. So the idea of going to try to recover the beast titan right now after that kind of battle is just not like feasible or a good decision. And they have two other titan shifters in human form who are damaged and incapacitated, and they only have one syringe, so they only really, they only need one Titan shifter, so he didn't need to keep him alive. And I think the fact that Erwin was so specific of you have to kill him, and that hesitation cost him what Erwin's goal was, and Erwin's dead, like uh, everyone died so that Levi could kill the Beast Titan. And he was almost there. So I... At least he took down the Titan himself. Yeah. And knows that that guy can't transform again for a while. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for our next episode, Midnight Sun, coming this Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to watch that episode now, check out the Patreon where you can see several episodes ahead, including the rest of season three. All right. I think that's about it. Are we excited for season three, episode 18 of Attack on Titan? Absolutely. All right. Let's get it. Let's go.